जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरिवर धारी राधा माधव कुंज यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदा यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीरावन चारी यमुना यमुना तीरावन चारी यम जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वंशिवर धारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धार यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजना यशोदा नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीरावन चारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम जय राधा गिरिधारी राधा गिरिधारी जय राधा गिरिधारी राधा गिरिधारी श्री राधे जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहम स्वरी वृज कचार अष्टोत्तर सत श्रीमद हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस अभय चरण अरविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी शिला प्रभुपाद की इस्कॉन बी बी टी फाउंडर आचार्य शिला प्रभुपाद की जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिविज कचार अष्टोत्तर सत श्रीमद हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस ठाकुर गोस्वामी महाराज शिला प्रभुपाद की अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की नाम आचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से बोलो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वसादि गौर भक्त वृद्धि श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपीनाथ राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड गिरिराज गोवर्धन की श्री श्री राधा गिरधारी की श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा महारानी की जय पुरुषोत्तम क्षेत्र जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय मायापुर धाम की जय नवदीप धाम की जय तुलसी देवी भक्ति देवी की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असेंबल डेवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असेंबल डेवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असेंबल डेवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री श्री गुरु एंड श्री गौरंगा श्रीशल प्रभुपाद ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्टप्रायु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपाकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम नमो पंकजनाभाय नमो पंकजमालिने नमो पंकजनेत्राय नमस्ते पंकजाग्रहे सो वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम कैंटो सेवन चैप्टर फाइव प्रहलाद द सेंटली सन ऑफ हिरणा काशीपू टेक्स ट्वेल्व स यदावृता पुंसा पशुबुद्धिर्भिद्यते अन्य एषा तथा अन्यो अहम इति भेदा गता सती सा यदावृता पुंसा पशुबुद्धिर्भिद्यते अन्य एषा तथा अन्योहम भेदा गता सती सा यदावृत्ता पुंसा पशुबुद्धिर्भिद्यते अन्य एषा तथा अन्योहम भेदा गता सती सा यदावृता पुंसा पशुबुद्धिर्भिद्यते अन्य एषा तथा अन्योहम भेदा गता सती anyone on zoom uh yadan nubrata pumsam pashu buddhi vividate anna esha tatha nyoham iti veda gata sati iti veda gata sati sa that supreme personality of godhead यदा वेन अनुवृत फेवरेबल और प्लीज्ड पुंसा ऑफ द कंडीशन सोल्स पशु बुद्धि ही द एनिमलिस्टिक कंसेप्शन ऑफ लाइफ आई एम द सुप्रीम एंड एवरी वन इज गॉड 
विविध्यते इज डिस्ट्रॉयड अन्य अनदर एशा दिस तथा एज वेल एज अन्य अनदर अहम आय इति दस भेद डिस्टिंक्शन गता हैविंग असती विच इज डिजास्ट्रस ट्रांसलेशन बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस अभय चरण अरविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी शिला प्रभुपाद शिला प्रभुपाद की जय वेन द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हैड इज प्लीज विद द लिविंग एंटिटी बिकॉज ऑफ हिज डिवोशनल सर्विस वन बिकम्स अ पंडिता एंड डज नॉट मेक डिस्टिंक्शंस बिटवीन एनिमीज फ्रेंड्स एंड हिमसेल्फ intelligently he then thinks every one of us is an eternal servant of god and therefore we are not different from one another purport when prahlad maharaj's teachers and demoniac father asked him how his intelligence had been polluted prahlad maharaj said as far as i am concerned my intelligence has not been polluted rather by grace rather by the grace of my spiritual master and by the grace of my of my lord krishna i have now learned that no one is my enemy and no one is my friend we are all actually eternal servants of krishna but under the influence of the external energy we think that we are separately situated from the supreme personality of godhead as friends and enemies of one another this mistaken idea has now been corrected therefore unlike ordinary human beings i no longer think that i am god and that others are my friends and enemies now i am rightly thinking that everyone is an eternal servant of god and that our duty is to serve the supreme master for then we shall stand on the platform of oneness as servants demons think of everyone as friends or enemy but vaishnavas say that since everyone is a servant of the lord everyone is on the same platform therefore a vaishnava treats other living entities neither as friends nor as enemies but instead tries to spread the krishna consciousness teaching everyone that we are all one as servants of the supreme lord but are uselessly wasting our valuable lives by creating nations communities and other groups of friends and enemies everyone should come to the platform of krishna consciousness and thus feel oneness as the servant as a servant of the lord although there are 8400000 species of life a vaishnava feels this oneness the isha upanishad advises ekatvam anupashyataha a devotee should see the supreme personality of godhead to be situated in everyone's heart and should also see every living entity as an eternal servant of the lord this vision is called ekatvam oneness although there is a relationship of master and servant both master and servant are one because of their spiritual identity this is also ekatvam thus the conception of ekatvam for the vaishnava is different from that of the mayavadi hiranyakashipu asked prahlad maharaj how he had become antagonistic to his family when a family member is killed by an enemy all the members of family would naturally be inimical to the murderer but hiranyakashipu saw that prahlad had become friendly with the murderer therefore he asked who has created this kind of intelligence in you have you developed this consciousness by yourself since you are a small boy someone must have induced you to think this way prahlad maharaj wanted to reply that an attitude favorable toward vishnu can develop only when the lord is favorable sa yadanu vrataha as stated in bhagavad gita krishna is the friend of everyone suhrudam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ricchati the lord is never an enemy to any of the millions of living entities but is always a friend to everyone this is true understanding if one thinks that the lord is an enemy his intelligence is pashu buddhi the intelligence of an animal he falsely thinks i am different from my enemy and my enemy is different from me the enemy has done this and therefore my duty is to kill him this mis- misconception is described in this verse as bheda gatasati <coughs> the actual fact is that everyone is a servant of the lord as confirmed in chaitanya charitamrita by shri chaitanya mahaprabhu jivera swarup hai krishnera nitya das 
As servants of the Lord, we are one, and there can be no question of enmity or friendship. If one actually understands that every one of us is a servant of the Lord, where is the question of enemy or friend? Everyone should be friendly for the service of the Lord. Everyone should praise another service to the Lord and not be proud of his own service. This is the way of Vaishnava thinking, Vaikuntha thinking. There may be rivalries and apparent competition between servants and perform performing service, but in the Vaikuntha planets, the service of another servant is appreciated, not condemned. This is Vaikuntha competition. There is no question of enmity between servants. Everyone should be allowed to render service to the Lord to the best of his ability and everyone should appreciate the service of others. Such are the activities of Vaikuntha. Since everyone is a servant, everyone is on the same platform and is allowed to serve the Lord according to his ability. As confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 15.15 Sarvasichaham hridasani vishto matta smritirgyanam apohanam cha The Lord is situated in everyone's heart giving dictation according to the attitude of the servant. However, the Lord gives different dictation to the non-devotees and devotees. The non-devotee challenge, the non-devotees challenge the authority of the Supreme Lord and therefore the Lord dictates in such a way that the non-devotees forget the Lord's service life after life and are punished by the laws of nature. But when a devotee very sincerely wants to render service to the Lord, the Lord dictates in a different way. As the Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 10, text 10, Tesham satata yukta nam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yena maam upiyanti te To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. Everyone is actually a servant, not an enemy or friend. And everyone is working under different directions from the Lord, who directs each living entity according to his mentality. Om Ajnana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swa Padantikam Vandeham Shri Gurao Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamsya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakha Vitamsya He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Brinda Baneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakal Pataru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advait Gadadhar Shivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashantya Deshatarine Hare Krishna. So, uh, so thank you everyone for coming to the Bhagavatam class and I seek all of your blessings so that we can purify our hearts and the words of Srimad Bhagavatam can actually touch our hearts and bring about a transformation. So since Dravida Prabhu is also here and I think he has something so it's a surprise so i would like to start with that uh, with a verse from vibhavari shesha so in vrindavan every morning we have this beautiful song vibhavari shesha aloka pravesha nidra chari utho jiva so one of the verse in that is very beautiful uh, so this is sung every morning at 4 30 in vrindavan vrindavan is the only temple if i'm right right where vibhavari shesha is sung 
samsara prayers at the samadhi and then vibhavari shesha in front of krishna balaram and radha sham sundar gaur nada so one of the verses is that uh, that comes in this song is ravan tankar makhan taskar gopi jana vastra hari braje rakhala gopa vrinda pala chitta hari vamsi dhari so what it means is ravan tankar makhan taskar krishna or ram when he krishna comes as ram he ends put an ends to the demoniac dynasty of ravan makhan taskar he steals away the butter ravan tankar makhan taskar gopi jana vastra he steals the clothes of the gopis when they come to bathe at the yamuna river and then gopa vrinda pala you know vrajendra rakhala gopa vrinda pala and he he takes care of all the people of vraja vrajendra rakhala gopa vrinda pala, and all the gopas cowherd boys chitta hari vamsi dhari and krishna also steals away our heart and he is a murli dhari you know he he holds the flute so shila bhakti vinod thakur also explains that how it relates to us is that when all the demoniac ravan like tendencies from our heart are you know taken away then our heart becomes soft like butter then krishna steals our heart makhana taskar and then what happens and when krishna steals our heart he becomes our own like our own friend you know and then he takes care of us rajendra rakhala gopavrat he will take care of us and then what happens chitta hari he steals away our heart he takes away our heart so always you know we, we give our heart to krishna krishna gives our heart to us very beautiful you know uh, purport by shila bhakti vinod thakur so just like krishna holds the flute he also obviously plays the flute and, and the devotees are also inspired to play the flute so i would request travida prabhu <laughs> One, one more time for a little bit <laughs> it's too short <laughs> sounds like a morning melody where krishna is calling all the cows to graze at the govardhan hill <laughs> do you know what kind of melody is it prabhu i have no idea okay so so yeah back to our uh, text from vrindavan to hiranakashipu's palace <laughs> so what is happening here in this text uh, is that the teachers of prahlad maharaj chand and amar amar kha which are the seminal sons of prahlad maharaj no. shukracharya yeah or shukracharya yeah they are there and they are um, asking these questions that where did you learn this so if we go little back to understand the context of this chapter we see that hiranakashipu is such a powerful you know demon uh that if he raises his eyebrows then all the people in you know heavenly worlds they will get scared and the villains of today's world are nothing as compared to <laughs> the little hiranakashipus of this world are nothing as compared to hirana this hiranakashipu that we are talking about in bhagavatam because he had conquered the entire earth planet and uh, <clears throat> he is actually not able to influence his own 5 year old son and one day when prahlad maharaj comes back from the school he asks him to sit on his lap and he asks okay what is the best subject you learned today in the school and all prahlad maharaj had to say is my dear lord you know political science or economy and prahlad and hela kashi would be like <laughs> very nice it was so nice it would be very simple and there would be no past time so many pages of bhagavatam wouldn't be there <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, prahlad maharaj 
you know, was speaking the truth. Satyavachan. So he, he was speaking the truth. Uh, he said, my dear father, uh, he said, the best of the, the best of the demons, Asur Varya, the best of the demons, you have, you consider yourself as the body and not as the self. You do not understand the difference between the two. And therefore, you have fallen into a deep, dark well which has no water, Andhukupam. And there is always miseries there. So therefore, what you must do is, and he also gives the instruction. Imagine five-year-old son is giving instruction to his father who is the conqueror of the entire <laughs> world is saying you must go to a vana which is Vrindavan and take shelter of the supreme personality of Godhead Vishnu <laughs> and who this Vishnu is the same Vishnu who killed his brother Hiranakshya Varahadev killed we all know the story of that so this makes you know uh, so this is since this is the first time so he, he 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 doesn't gets a lot of lot of anger but still he calls the teachers and said you know, uh, how is he learning all these things? Just try to find out. Maybe some Vaishnavas are coming in disguise in the school and they are, you know, <laughs> just like some of the Vaishnavas, you go in pant shirt and, you know, in the offices also. I, I remember when I was working in India, I used to hold some sessions within my company. I would invite some brahmacharis and uh, session on anger management, stress management. You know, there are a lot of stress working in the office. <laughs> so that is one of the hot topics, stress management. So I would call Brahmachari, and I will introduce him. He's a monk, he, he's highly qualified, he did masters, and he's the monk who sold his Ferrari. <laughs> People, and everybody would like come up into the conference room, so it was nice events. So sometimes Vaishnava was also disguised to basically preach the message of the Lord. And uh, and now Prahlad Maharaj is talking about, you know, he's giving his answer. He's telling that uh, uh, when the Supreme Personality of Godhead is pleased with the living entity because of his devotional service, one becomes a Pandita. So very, very beautiful uh, line Prabhupada, um, Parpat Prabhupada writes in relation to this in Bhagavad Gita. When the Supreme Personality of Godhead is pleased with the living entity because of his devotional service. So I wanted to also relate it to the last verse here where uh, Prabhupada in the purport writes that uh, when a devotee very sincerely wants to render service to the Lord, devotional service to the Lord, the Lord dictates in a different way as compared to the non-devotees. And then he is saying, Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam. With love, when somebody does bhajan, then Krishna gives them the intelligence. And then he can come to me. And then, so this is the 10th 10, 10 verse. So this is the Chatur Shloki Bhagavad Gita, starting from 10, 8 to 10, 11. So after this verse, uh, Krishna says that, how does, uh, how does one gets, gets the understanding? to come to me, then next verse it is said, Tesham evanukam partham aham agyana jamtama nashyami buddhi bhavasto jnana deepena bhashvata. So Krishna says that, how do I give understanding? He says, to show them special mercy, I dwelling in their hearts, destroy with the shining lamp of knowledge, the darkness born of ignorance. And then in the purport, a very beautiful thing is there. Um, ah, yeah. Uh, Prabhupada writes that sometimes Mayavadi philosophers criticize the devotee because they think that most of the devotees are in the darkness of ignorance and are philosophically naive sentimentalists. So Mayavadis are supposed to be like very learned theoretically and they think that devotees are just sentimentalists like the thought of Prakashanand Saraswati, thought of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is just chanting, dancing. So actually that is not the fact. There are very, very learned scholars who have put forward the philosophy of devotion. Like our Acharya Bhakti, you know, Thakur was the one to send, you know, so many books to Oxford, London. But even if a devotee does not take advantage of their literature or of his spiritual master, if he's sincere in his devotional service, he is helped by Krishna himself from within his heart. Such a powerful statement. Can you imagine? I was, I read it many times. I'll read it once more. But even if a devotee does not take advantage of their literature or of his spiritual master, if he is sincere in his devotional service, he is helped by Krishna himself within his heart. 
So the devotional service is so important, you know, even if we don't know any scriptures, but if we are, if we are uh, doing our devotional service with love for Krishna consistently, you know, uninterrupted, unmotivated, then what will happen? Krishna will help us from within our heart. And he's saying in this uh, verse, I dwelling in their hearts destroy the shining lamp of knowledge, uh, the darkness born of ignorance. So Krishna is actually confirming this in the Bhagavad Gita as well as in Bhagavatam here, in where Prahlad Maharaj is speaking uh, about the devotional service. So, <clears throat> so devotional service is so important. And also in this whole purport, we are many times the word servant comes, you know, servant, who is a servant who does devotional service? The, the job profile or the duty of a servant is to do devotional service. There are certain activities that we do. Srila Prabhupada gives a very nice story of, from Lord Chaitanya's pastime of Subuddhi Rai. You know, he was a zamidar, he was a landowner, and he had a servant. Uh, his name was, uh, he was a Mohammedan boy. And Prabhupada gives this example to prove that in the spiritual world, we are trying to become servant, but in the material world, people want to become master. They, nobody wants to become a servant, right? So he gives this example and he says that uh, this Subuddhi Rai had a Mohammedan boy who was a servant. And sometimes he, if he didn't listen to him, he had a cane. And with the cane, he would beat him. <laughs> and then when this boy grew up, his wife, you know, saw all these uh, marks of being, you know, beaten up. He said, where did all this come from? And he said, because when I was a little boy, a servant, then I used to get beaten up by my master. And she was very, very angry. And she said, you should kill him. He said, no, no, I will not kill him, but I'll throw some water and convert his religion. <laughs> so, uh, And then that boy became uh, Hussain Nawab Shah of West Bengal, yes, when he grew up. Then his wife, yes, then his wife, correct. So, uh, but the idea is that uh, everybody is trying to become the master in this world. Uh, but, and there is a new concept of servant leadership nowadays. A lot of corporate people, you know, want the leaders to be like a servant leader. So this is a same uh, principle that has evolved from the scriptures itself. Um, and uh, another another example I would like to also give is of Shruta uh, Kirti uh, Prabhu. So once Prabhupada actually came to LA and a lot of devotees were like uh, dancing and Prabhupada was looking at them and Prabhupada would like look everybody and welcome them through his eyes. So uh, and there was a big feast, big festival was there. And Shruta Kirti Prabhu was actually cooking feast. And he didn't know where Prabhupada was. And he was busy and he was obviously a good cook. Uh, and he, he was thinking, oh, you know, Prabhupada has come and now he's leaving. I couldn't even take his darshan. I'm just busy cooking, cooking, cooking. Uh, but he still, he thought this is a service to Prabhupada. So he, he continued with that. And... Uh, uh, and one devotee, after the cooking was done and everybody took prasadam, one servant, one, one another devotee came to the kitchen and he said to Shruta Kirti Prabhu that Prabhupada is leaving and you are going to travel with him and be his personal servant and cook. So he was so happy. <laughs> you know, although he was just serving so nicely, but he got such a you know, good opportunity to travel and to serve Prabhupada personally. For three years, he was like a personal secretary of Srila Prabhupada. So yes, Krishna in our hearts, you know, Sarvasya Chaham Hridesani Vishto is there. He understands our intentions and Krishna reciprocates also with us, uh, with our sincerity. And uh, all of our scriptures are filled with uh, being the servant of the servant. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also says in the uh, Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya Leela, Jivera Swarup hai Krishnera Nitya Das. The eternal uh, position of a living entity is to be the servant of Krishna. So that is our uh, uh, eternal position. And Srila Prabhupada would also say, all these boys and girls who are coming, they are actually you know servant of Krishna, but they have forgotten it. It is uh, covered. And uh, uh, so now that consciousness is awakening. 
<coughs> so and then krishna goes one step forward krishna says uh he says that if you are my devotee or not my devotee if you are my devotee's devotee then you are my devotee mad bhakta puja abhyadika you know abhyadika means adhika mad bhakta puja abhyadika so who is serving my devotees mad bhakta puja that worship is bigger than my worship krishna is saying like that so serving the devotees is the one of the important principles here and uh, <clears throat> when we are talking about serving the devotees sometimes we try to try to uh, discriminate you know he is a pure devotee or he is he is a maharaj or he is you know great devotees i should only serve pure devotees so do you think it is correct you know ideally we should we should serve everybody to our full capacity not discriminate between whether he is a devotee advanced devotee or a, not an advanced devotee madhyama kanishta or उत्तम अधिकारी एंड इवन नॉन डिवोटीज वी रिस्पेक्ट एवरीबडी राइट सो दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल सो इफ वी ट्राई टू सर्व ओनली दोज हु आर कंप्लीटली प्योर इन हार्ट देन एक्चुअली वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू डिस सर्विस टू दोज हु आर कंप्लीटली प्योर इन हार्ट इफ यू टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ शिला प्रभुपाद हाउ इज सर्व यू नो वेन ही केम टू द वेस्ट और इवन वेर एवर ही ट्रेवल्ड he was serving everybody there was this marriage uh, one of the first marriages of the disciple of prabhupad prabhupad cooked the entire feast right and even at the uh, matchless gift store in new york you see when people were coming you know some new people were, prabhupad was cooking himself he was serving everybody so so we should not discriminate okay i should only serve him or them and uh, that is also a very important uh, principle so how we treat each other is how actually we are treating our gurus and krishna that is um, that is there so and real understanding of you know real understanding how to serve will come by our sincerity and uh, lord chetan mahaprabhu has given this cardinal principle of amani na manadina to give respect to others and not to expect anything for ourselves and when we have that kind of consciousness uh, only then we can actually chant the holy names of the lord constantly hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 and krishna will actually reveal us in our holy names abhinatva naam namino so in that consciousness in the mood of you know uh, devotional service which is so very important uh, only then we can actually uh, chant the holy names of the lord <clears throat> so shila bhakti vinod thakur also says in one of the bhajans uh, that tumara kukur he says oh vaishnav thakur i am your dog <laughs> you know he's uh, saying oh vishnu please consider me your dog such a uh, exalted position you know even <laughs> uh, becoming a dog like that so uh and uh, so in this purport in <coughs> translation uh, supreme personality of god is pleased with the living entity because of his devotional service one becomes a pandita and does not make distinctions so pandita means a brahman is generally considered pandita and pandita or brahman has six duties what are those six duties anyone yajan yajan pathan pathan dana and pratigraha right these six activities are there and kshatriyas have different duties kshatriya protect you know uh, everyone and then vaishyas go raksha vanijyam cha krishi like they do farming taking care of the cows they protect the cows and then shudra serve everybody so all these uh, people have different duties so brahmins also teach the uh, one of the important duties of brahman is to teach and not for money but just to preach money will obviously krishna uh, lakshmi pati is there so it will automatically be there but brahman doesn't take charges any money for teaching that is how it is 
वन बिकम्स अ पंडिता एंड डज नॉट मेक डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन एनिमीज फ्रेंड्स एंड हिमसेल्फ सो पंडिता डज नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेट बिटवीन एनिमीज फ्रेंड्स एंड हिमसेल्फ सो हु इज़ अ फ्रेंड वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ फ्रेंड अ फ्रेंड इज समबडी हु हेल्प्स अस इन वॉट एवर वी आर ट्राइंग टू अचीव इन आवर गोल राइट एंड समबडी हु ट्राइज टू सो वेदर इट्स money or name or fame or our interest that is a friend and if somebody tries to obstruct that then he becomes our enemy even a friend sometimes can become enemy if he tries to do that but if you see the whole shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrit bhagavad gita one of the very important teachings is that a learned person or a pandita doesn't differentiate between friend and enemy and what is the reason for that the reason for that is because he sees in everybody the presence of parmatha he sees the lord within everybody because he loves the lord and he sees in everybody the lord that is why he considers everybody equal he doesn't makes a difference vidya vinay sampanne brahmane gavi hastini shuni chaiva sopake cha pandita samadarshina vidya vinay sampanne so the learned person sage by virtue of his knowledge considers a Uh, elephant a dog cow dog eater and looks at them with equal vision he doesn't discriminate so that is if you see very important teaching non discrimination right so that is what the lord is also teaching us and that is one of the root cause of envy anger you know uh, conflicts that arise uh, in today's world in any society whether it's a ashram or house or whatever so ha huh? yeah house ashram so uh intelligently he then thinks every one of us is an eternal servant of god and therefore we are not different from one another so so considering everybody as eternal servant of god and serving each other and not thinking that i am best or i am proud of my service so in one of the in this purport i think one of the uh, lines in the last paragraph prabhupada says everyone should be friendly for the service of the lord everyone should praise another service to the lord and not be proud of his own service you know my service is better than your service i am doing better so <clears throat> this is the way of vaishnava thinking everyone should be friendly for the service of the lord uh this is vaikuntha thinking there may be rivalries and apparent competition between servants in performing service but in vaikuntha planets the service of another servant is appreciated not condemned this is vaikuntha competition there is no question of enmity between servants everyone should be allowed to render service to the lord to the best of his ability and everyone should appreciate the service of others so this morning i was reading one quote of prabhupad i have that calendar every day we flip january 12th it says we should forgive and forget uh small mistakes of the devotees you know and continue to work together so that is also uh i think prabhupad sent a letter to garg muni in somewhere in los angeles so and <clears throat> when such situation comes when there is conflict when there is rivalries then uh whatever is our consciousness you know whether we want to get involved in politics or we want to uh, get involved in you know not get involved in politics and focus on our sadhana so that depends on our consciousness like krishna says ye yatha mam prapadyante ma tam state bhajami ham so whatever we desire krishna will directors in this okay if you want to get into all these things then go ahead in the end Par- prabhupada is saying the same thing that the non devotees challenge the authority of the lord and therefore lord dictates in such a way that the non devotees forget the lord service life after life but even for the devotees if you know if they want something if they are not interested in devotional service and progressing then krishna directs in the same way okay you are interested in this you go ahead in this direction and somebody is really serious and wants to progress on the spiritual path krishna will direct in that way so so yes these are uh 
these are some of the things but uh, and the reason is that uh, eventually you know whatever we do we are looking for some kind of satisfaction pleasure and uh, prabhupad mentions in one of the classes that <clears throat> these kind of pleasure pleasures are insignificant like a drop of water in the ocean in the in the in the desert so a drop of water in desert is nothing but we are actually looking for a whole garden and the whole garden requires lot of water right so you need lots of water for that so <clears throat> so yes i just uh, wanted to share these thoughts and probably stop here so if you have any comments or questions yes prabhu dujamani prabhu thank you probably you are stressing the point that serving the devotees not to, i mean senior devotees and junior devotees not to discriminate and but we see even in the shastras says i mean mahatsevam dwara ahur vimukta serving the great devotees opens the door to liberation and it's also natural when some pure devotee shows up everybody runs wants to do some service but as you are mentioning like it's serving it's a disservice actually so it seems contradictory how do you reconcile mm. so yeah uh obviously like if some maharaj there are different posi- uttam adhikari is there kanishta madhyam adhikari what i mean is that we should not disrespect anybody who's say kanishta or a new devotee we should not think that oh he is very new and i will not probably even respect him or not even talk to him or not uh, try to be friend with them so i think that that is what i meant by a disservice because we don't know after 20 years maybe that devotee becomes a uttam adhikari he he you know becomes a sanyasi <laughs> so that is what i meant but obviously yes we we respect everybody you know all the but we have a different treatment for every all of, differently right obviously krishna whatever treatment we do give to krishna and then we give to different levels of devotees is different but we respect we treat everybody equally that is uh, that should be there that should be my main thread across all of them uh, uh, hari you... krishna yes prabhu ji yes no i can wait for the questions of the temple room devotees no problem balram prabhu would you like to add something to this answer i have i have a question yes i think first he first he answer. oh you are, yes prabhu no no go ahead. yes yes yeah i guess my question was sort of like his i guess like just Does it have because it has something to do with willingness, right, or something? Willingness? Yeah, willingness. For what? Willingness for what? For what? To like towards another life, like if you're willing or unwilling, like something mm-hmm. something is happens, right? Like in a way, it changes life for you, right? Isn't that what this is about? Um. Can you? Yeah. So until until you will, you desire, you won't do anything, yeah. Yeah, like Dravda Prabhu said, you should be willing to chant the Hare Krishna mantra, coming to the temple, eating prasadam. So until you have the desire in your heart, how will you do that, right? And Un- unless you are uh, hungry, you cannot digest the food. So we have to have that hunger or desire, willingness for all these uh, devotional or spiritual activities. So yeah, definitely. And that hunger comes by this association. When we hear, when we discuss, then that hunger ar- arises. you know become strong more and more yes do you mind bro yeah <coughs> well in relation to the pure devotee um you know serving pure devotees versus serving um yeah you could say lower devotees i guess one thing i was thinking is that there's there's also different you could say degrees of pure devotees there's certain there's there's devotees who have um Well, there's pure devotees like in the traditional sense that like you know anyabilashi dashunyam gana karma dinavar and they fully like they've and and they're also they're free they're past the nartha nivritti they're they're completely free from from their anarthas and um 
you know, they're purely serving Krishna. But then I guess you could say another definition of pure devotees is those who have pure intention. Mm. Those who have who 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 have pure desire to, or, or or yeah purely or only you could say only desire to become pure devotees, and then just like um, oh, well, I guess then that, that verse doesn't really apply. But anyway, that um, you could say they're like they're like pure devotees in the making. Yeah. So in that sense, they're also they're also pure, and their their intention is pure. Mm. Um, so it's just a matter of getting rid of whatever else is there. Yeah. So I guess you could say that is also kind of something like that. In one sense, any devotee practicing devotional service or, or having with a vision of pure devotional service is, you could say, a pure devotee. But then also, well, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. If that's so was that a comment or question? I didn't get it. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, another thing in relation to <clears throat> in relation to service, so we should be in th so one should be enthusiastic to serve uh, all devotees. Yes. Now, that's true. And you could say, well, there's a special emphasis. Okay, you should serve advanced devotees, right? Yes. Now, one thing in relation to the service is there's different ways to serve. Like, for example, okay. Um, there may be someone who's not so advanced, just like objectively not advanced. You know, they 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 just came to the temple and and uh, you know they're they they've been vegetarian for one day and whatever. You know, they 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 just they just memorized the Hare Krishna mantra and you know so. It's, of course, of course, someone may argue, but how advanced they are. But anyways, <laughs> we would. So, but anyways, objectively, there's some people who are less advanced. So you could say, we should be enthusiastic to serve those people. Exactly. Yes. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we say, oh, you know, please sit down and you know, let me give you pada abhishek and yes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> exactly, yeah, and offer you the best of garlands and things. But we serve them in the sense that we answer their questions. Yes. We 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 guide them. We 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 help them. We encourage them. We teach them the science of bhakti yoga, and that way we're serving them. Yeah. Whereas, okay, friends, you know, so there's different ways to serve. <clears throat> we're not going to go to them and say, you know, please explain to me the absolute truth, right? I need guidance in my life. But um, now we serve other devotees in other ways, like advanced devotees. We say, please instruct me. Please give me guidance. Um, please teach me, you know, the science of bhakti. I, I, I need help. Or we serve them in other ways. I don't know, some special treatment. Yes. So would you say obeisances obeisance, or yeah. some special treatment, you know, service. So anyways, in that way, we, we could be enthusiastic to serve all exactly. the devotees in yeah. different ways. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Dweech Mani has his burning uh, question or comment. Uh, Dravida Prabhu, I would also like to hear from you. Like, when Prabhupada, you know, Prabhupada wanted to spread this movement. And so what do you think about, like, Serving everybody versus serving a pure devotee. What are your thoughts? I want to hear. Okay. It's not burning at all. It's burning like sun. Yeah. I just want to say that I, I really liked your class. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, you were mentioning the Chatur Shloka in the Bhagavad Gita yeah, and yeah. that comment in Bhaisala Prabhupada. Devotional service. Yeah. That if you. Um, take devotional service seriously, Correct. you don't have to uh, take shelter in scripture and your spiritual master, you'll still be um, getting the mercy. And then uh, I was I was thinking about it, and uh, so what Srila Prabhupada is saying is that we should take uh, shelter in chanting. That's what he means in the commentary. So if we take shelter mm -hmm. in chanting, then um, anyhow, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a desire to serve our spiritual master and take shelter in scripture. So either way, we'll develop that attraction. Yeah. And, the, and the question I had was, let's say we uh, make an uh, offense to a, a devotee who's in a, uh, potentially is becoming an uttama bhakta. Mm. And that offense, um, is that going to increase with his progress of, of spiritual life or not? What do you think? 
What is the, is the offense going to increase if, with the If you make an offense in the beginning when he's not an Ultima Bhakta oh, yet, but then will it increase if he becomes an Ultima Bhakta? Oh, that's a very technical question. <laughs> so the question is, if you offend somebody in the initial stage of Bhakti, yeah. and then later he becomes very advanced devotee, so will your offense become like 5x to the, you know, or 10x to the degree he becomes advanced, right? That is the question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give it to him the why Prabhu can answer this uh, probably. <laughs> That's an easy response to that. <laughs> We don't know. But therefore don't take any chances. <laughs> Better not to offend. <laughs> but I think I think the uh, I think he touched on this this famous line, you know, uh in the purport. But even if a devotee does not take advantage of their literatures or of his spiritual master, If he is sincere in his devotional service, he is helped by Krishna within himself within his heart. Mm-hmm. So he's, he's sincere, uh, but, but there, in other places he said, well, if someone is really sincere, he has to take advantage of his spiritual master. So I think what the result is, this is like someone who is fairly new and you know, it's, it's kind of, it doesn't know all of the ins and outs of devotional service. But, as, uh, but, but Krishna will, will uh, help him within his heart to get more appreciation for his spiritual master and these literatures, yeah. you know, the, the literature the Prophet gave, is also, it fits into this thing. So that it's understood that if the sincerity is there, uh, then all of the injunctions uh, are not there, especially at the beginning. In other words, the sincerity itself, the willingness to learn, you know, uh, which, which is a very important thing, then, that, then these other aspects will, will eventually manifest. And when, and, I mean, uh, okay, he's not sincere. Well, he's sincere enough to get up, you know, and come to the Guru Puja. And then if you learn what is in the Guru Puja, then you understand the importance of taking advantage of the spiritual master. So, so everything will manifest based on that sincerity and enthusiasm. But if there's some mm-hmm. kind of a nefarious uh, motive, Correct. then you're blocked and eventually you, 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 you leave the association. Yeah. So wonderful. And your thoughts about, like, uh, serving different level of devotees, Can you also share that? Like Prabhupada served everybody, right? And then sometimes you make a discrimination, oh, he's a great devotee, I should only serve him and not the others. Yeah, well, that... that <laughs> okay, well, he's a great devotee, then after some times of associating with that great devotee and serving him, you're going to hear this first. Naham vipro natanadapati nabi vaishyam nashudro. And you'll see how Lord Chaitanya himself is it's saying, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm the servant of the servant of the servant of all. Oh, that's what the Supreme Lord himself is doing. Okay, maybe I should do that. In mm-hmm. other words, if you stay within the association, eventually you're going to get exposed to uh, the, 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 the full philosophy. Prabhupada gave us everything that C.C. has always been. And so, you, so the, 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 the idea is that don't commit offenses. If you're committing yes. offenses, you're going to, Krishna will take away your desire to stay within the, the association of devotees. You feel very uncomfortable within the devotees association. And then you're, you're as Prabhupada would say, and, you know, because devotees were leaving even during his time, you know, said their, their, their whereabouts are unknown. Hmm. You know, you become, you're not protected anymore. Hmm. So, so it's, it's so important to act in such a way, a humble way, that you're, you can absorb all of the, the, uh, the, the, the mood of devotional service and gradually advance in that way. Avoiding the offenses. Thank you, Prabhu. So the same principle of amani na manadina, respecting everybody, not respecting, uh, expecting respect for ourselves. But sometimes there is a need when we need to correct others, right? So that should be done in a way where we are trying to benefit others and not in a way of you know ang- being in an anger, angry mood, or in spite or envy or to condescend them, or out of callousness. So that should not be the mood. But otherwise, if it is for the benefit, then yes, if we are the right authority, if it doesn't create conflicts, then yes, we can correct them, right? And maybe reach to the right authority and they can... Advantages of, of, you know, reading the books regularly, you come across that verse, which is sometimes, you know, probably would quote, and the devotees quote, Tato duk sangha mutsurja, satsu sajjaita buddhiman, Uh, Krishna is, is speaking to uh, Uddhava mm. and he's just uh, described the final uh, pastime of uh, what is it, Urvasi and um, 
Who was who was the one who got get, get charmed for for years? Puru Rava. So then there's then then there's the Ayla Gita. Krishna is relating the Ayla Gita. Ayla is another name for Puru Rava. Yeah. Where finally he says, "What am I doing? I've spent all my, you know, life and and and, and all all of this effort to just get association with this woman, you know. Like, in other words, it's a it's a very strong expression of renunciation, you know, heavy duty. You can be to yourself. And then and then the, the, the Christian response to that a few verses later, yes. And so, um, therefore, one has to, has to give up very powerfully, throw away bad association." Mm. And associate with the with the sadhus, with the saints, because by their strong words, and this is where you know the, the maturity comes in, where the devotee is not put off when the spiritual master chastises and says, "What are you doing? You should do." It. But mm. uh, Chindandi literally cuts out with their strong words the the very powerfully impacted material desires in the heart. Mano vyasangam, this vyasangam means a very strong uh, attachments. So that's that's part of the part of the, the, the blessings, of, and that's the service of the guru. The guru is serving you by getting on your case, you know, and by by uh, giving you strong words. And and you see the instances, you know, with Prabhupada, mm-hmm. some of his disciples, they would they would be very thankful. Well, I got chastised by Prabhupada. That means he cares, mm-hmm. you know. And then they felt that that's a very memorable, you know, uh, yeah. relation with Prabhupada. So it's, it's, a, it's a question of just uh, you know, maturity getting yeah. to the point where you're, you're, you're feeling the, uh, the blessing coming. And sometimes, you know, with with uh, hot chili, you know, and sometimes yeah. it's, it's halva, you know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Prabhuji, for sharing your thoughts. And thank you all of you for uh, pitching in and, you know, putting your comments and questions. Uh, what about the Zoom questions? <laughs> yes. If you do not have the time, there's no problem, Prabhu. Yes, go ahead quickly. Yes, let's let's do this. Yeah, please go ahead, uh, Vijay Krishna Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu, thank you very much. You're most kind on the Bhat Pranams. Prabhu, I see in the purport uh, you discussed today that the teachers of Prahlad are, are inquiring about the Vaishnavas who are uh, who uh, spoiling the, the intelligence, the demoniac intelligence of, of Prahlad, uh, which was not there because uh, Prahlad, as you know better than me, was a saint. So uh, based on this, my question is, what about I, Vijaya Krishna Das Prabhu, trying to find a teacher who, who wouldn't be there spoiling my intelligence, like a Shiksha Guru. I'm not saying that my, my, my initiating Guru is doing it, obviously, but what about, what about the Shiksha Guru? Uh, w- w- what are the symptoms, or at least one symptom, which would be there showing that this Shiksha Guru is going to spoil my spiritual advancement and my spiritual intelligence, fabric fabricated in me by the mercy of my initiating guru? That is my question. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the question. So you are asking what should, be the, what should be the quality of your Siksha Guru so that you can progress in your spiritual life? Exactly. That is my question. Okay. <laughs> um, I think all these qualities of a guru or a siksha guru are described in entire Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, you know, Titik Shiva Karunika, Surudam Sarva Bhutanam. So a guru should be uh, tolerant, and a sadhu basically, a sadhu should be tolerant, uh, merciful, forgiving, and topmost he should have love for Krishna. Just like we discussed today, Pandita, the quality of Pandita is he looks everybody with equal vision. And he also doesn't consider himself as your master. Like if you are uh, reporting to him, suppose you are a mentee and he's a mentor, he doesn't think, oh, I am superior than you. He tries to cultivate you in a very humble mood of being the servant of the servant and doesn't consider himself or herself to be the proprietor or the controller of you and tries to give you Krishna consciousness, tries to give you that love of Krishna, where it can transform your heart. Uh, and respects everybody, does not criticize others, right? 
So if somebody is criticizing others and trying to prove that I am be better than this Siksha Guru or I am better than this devotee, then definitely uh, there is something you have to be very careful about. So, yeah, I think these are my thoughts. Is that what you are looking for? Ans uh, please answer honestly if you got the answer to your question. I did. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're most kind. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Like our Premanandi. Hari Hari Bol.